Tanukis. Evil Tanukis. Evil Tanukis. Evil Tanukis. Evil Tanukis. Evil Tanukis. Evil Tanukis. Yeah. Now let's start, shall we? The massive high school s s tower of the massive high school towers over all of the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like their high school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope Speak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend the school. One, you need to already be attending high school. Two, you already have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way you can the only way in is you need to be scouted by the school itself. Shut up, chat. Shut up, chat! <laughs> You don't have to tell me. I, I know. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with ultimate students was me. You already know who it is. Me, main character solo. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. As you can see, I'm nothing but helplessly average. High school student. Average on the outside, average on the inside. No bitches whatsoever. 
I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, or even personality, which leaves me with no bitches. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's like, I'm not psychic or mutant. Like, if you asked me what favorite song was, or favorite movie, or TV show, I just say what is whatever the most popular at the particular moment. And shut up, I am at least average, chat. I do not have autism. Even among the average, I'm completely average. So I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyways, I figured it's always good to introduce yourself right from the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong points, so to speak, I say I'm a little more gun ho than other people. And have autism. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary. But still. I am here, standing in front of the anything but ordinary host speaking Academy. Fucked up. That's where the camera is. All right. I don't want to show it. All right. I'm. St I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. It got an overwhelming presence. Like it's trying to swallow me whole. And why you say that? But no wonder how. How I would feel that way. What you have to understand is, well, just let me tell you the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Post Peak only invites the students who are the truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic that there's there are online threads dedicated to talking about the students' attendance, or attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of these threads. And all I saw was talk about the ultimate students. Who were they and beyond, were beyond average high schoolers. For example, one of the incoming students was the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school student who also led singers for a pop group famous all over the country. <laughs> Shut up, chat. There's also that ultimate baseball stuff. Just, just vibe to the song, alright? He was also a queen of hitter for the national high school. Champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Then there's the ultimate fashionist. She's always been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She wants every high school student to be. She is what every high school student girl wants to be. Ah, I can't even speak. I might have autism like Chuck said. Oh, and they mentioned the uh, ultimate biker gang leader too. The scary thing is that he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love this guy. One of 
one. On top of that, there are the martial artists, the ultimate benefit creator, the ultimate gambler, the ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. Really, that makes me feel totally powerless. I was. It was the country's finest, top to bottom. Shut up! Shut up! I know that's you! I felt a little tame. I felt like a little tamed house cat who warded into a pride of lions. Wandered, whatever. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there's a few students who couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I loved. With all of those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they just be average students like me? Without any talent or anything? <laughs> I'm the ultimate no bitch getter! <laughs> That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality, but beyond that, there's even a bigger issue. How did an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You have to take you have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. We recently held a lottery to select one ORDINARY student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected, and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. Or the ultimate no bitch giver. They spelled it out. Plain as day, I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, Probably I would have been better off declining their offer. But after hearing their graduation, their graduating was guaranteed for success later in life, I couldn't just say no. Shut up, chat. But then actually standing there in front of the school, I'm starting to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand here in front of this gate forever. Frozen in place, I murmuring to myself, and I look down at the sex and a question in my hand. It said there will be a meeting for all incoming students the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting isn't, still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. I gather up all my determination and try to act like I've done this a million times before. I took my first step into the main hall. Nice. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over there in the corner. It says it's 7.10 a.m. The meeting doesn't start till another 8 till 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. Shut up! Please! Please! Leave me alone, Chad! You don't have to bully me! It still makes sense nobody would be here yet. I was so wounded up that I got here way too early, but I had plenty of time 
before the meeting. Just standing around and waiting is exactly. I should take a look around the school. Maybe that will ca help calm me down a little. I am a student here, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? Right? It helped me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Whole Speak Academy. It was also my first step towards a new life at a new school. At least, that's what I was hoping for. And so someone took me to shrooms, I'm guessing. What the? But the instant that I took my first step, my view became twisted and warped. It was like some kind of delusion melted away and mixed together into something else. Sp spinning, mixing, melting away, and then spinning again. And then the next moment, everything went black. That was how it all began. And how life as I knew it came to an end. At this point, I should have realized. The reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate luck. It's because I have to turn down the volume on my TV so y'all can't hear it. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. I'm not acknowledging that chat. Chat. Of course, I want to save that. <sighs> beep, 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 beep. I'm, I might be sleeping. Beep, 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 I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden table. My body feels heavy. It feels pretty normal for me to zonk out in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing sleep just now? This is a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? To Hove Peak Academy. Firstly, we like to explain the basic controls. Alright. You can use the left stick to adjust your aim. If you aim at an object with the, with the A button, alright. And press the U and investigate that object. Oh my. Ah, shut up, chat. Please. Please, stop making fun of my lonely ass. That's what I wanted to do. Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just after 7 when I first got here. Has it all really almost been an hour since then? Hmm. That's the desk I fell asleep on. You can still see a line of drool. I must have left there. Whatever. Whatever, chat. I'll have to clean that up later. Hey, what is this on my desk? An orange 
education guide? It looks like some cheap looking pamphlet and there's some something ham writing on there? On it? The next semester is about to start. Today, starting today, this school will be your eternal world. What the hell? Is this someone's idea of a joke? Is this why I have no bitches? This must be the reason I have no bitches. What the hell? In any classroom, there would be windows. That's where windows should be. But it looks like there's some metal plates that has been bolted over. And if I were to knock on it... Ow, my hand! Yep, thick, definitely thick. Definitely metal, thick. <laughs> Very solid. Wait, that's... Wait, that's not the what the matter is here. Most importantly, why is there metal plates over the windows? <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> you are the best big fun of me. So let's see what might have happened. Is I got myself wounded up and I passed out in the main hall. And then someone carried me here. Maybe some bitches that carried me here. And then I can find some bitches. If that's true, it must mean. This is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. But then if that's true, that raises more questions. Is this, this is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows. It's like, it's a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past meeting time. There might be other students there now. You can leave the classroom by pressing B for bitches. idea what's going on. Well, for now, I guess I'll just head to the main hall. Use the left stick to move around the hallway. Hold down B while moving to right. You can also press Y to bring up the map. Pressing Y again will close the map. How convenient. Oh, got the jets. at all. I wonder where this red door leads. I'm starting to get, I'm trying to get a sick feeling just standing here. This 
their hotel. That seems safe. The spare hotel? I guess it's a play for people to stay overnight, but anyways, I need to get to the main hall. I do know what B stands for. It stands for BITCHES! Anyways, chill, I'll be right back. I need some water. I'm back. I'm back. I got me water. <sighs> Everyone was already there. Whoa, hey! Another new kid? Huh. Huh? And you guys are all... Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, mm -hmm. counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Despair, the fact. Holes don't tell you they love you. <laughs> Read me all, hop off my dick. Standing before me with the ultimate students that has been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who's gathered there, taking their faces one by one. I got that blonde girl there. She looks good. And that's a cute girl in the green. Maybe it was just imagining it, but I could swear I could feel an aura coming from each one of them. Um, how's it going? My name is Makoto Nayagi. Sorry, I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden, I was just asleep. Huh? Whoa, you too, dude? Hmm. I need to get her voice right. I'm gonna go with my generic white girl voice for now. Uh, 
there's just things getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm-hmm. So strange. I declare behind the shadow of a doubt that this is strange. This is a strange situation indeed. Bitch, read it again. You haven't said it with enough emphasis. Shut up. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly don't have an idea what's going on right now. Water, water. Just a moment. There's something else that we must address. Listen to me. Okay, this is the uh the hall monitor. I, I need to give him that type of place. Makoto! Your tardiness is unacceptable! Surely you are aware that our meeting was supposed to start at 8 a.m. sharp. To to be late on your first day is unacceptable! I must report you! You must accept your due punishment! Uh, Alright. What? What is your problem? It's not like you wanted to be late. You didn't have any control for it. That's right! Everyone, just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? What the hell? There's no freaking time for introductions. <laughs> Maybe, but it would be good to at least figure out who are we before digging into bigger prob to the bigger problem here. I mean, how are we supposed to talk to each other if we don't even know each other's names? Good point. Good point. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah, I want to make sure this is one of my bitches, so y'all don't make fun of me for having no bitches. Okay, chat? Um... Okay, so let's get introductions out the way. Then we can move on to whether it's good. Sounds good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best just to focus on getting to know for now. So I am guess... This is a good chance. A good chance as I'm going to get. Excuse me, order. Ah. I already looked up every everyone on Hope Seek Academy Academy thread, but I still don't know what kind of people they are. Time to figure out. I'll start to talking to those five over there. Aim at a student and press date. A button to talk to them. Each conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of them. Oh, well, keep track of how they go. N-word. What up? What up, chat? I'm gonna let you decide which one I should talk to first. Chat. 
chat. Tell me who I need to talk to first. Uh, uh, Alright then. Uh, if no one chooses, I'm choosing for myself then. <sighs> Uh, 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 uh. Um, sure, let me see. There's one, two. I, I don't got this bitch, so yeah, yeah let me talk to her. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but I'm T -T Toko. Toko Fukawa. Toko Fukawa. Got it. The ultimate writing part. Hey, this is wow. Yeah, she wrote a novel that got. That when she was 10, that got everyone talking. And launched her literacy career. Man, I wish I could talk. I wish I English good. Then two years later, she really so lingers the ocean. A love story that said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot up to the top of every hottest men pole. Oh, I don't, I don't, despite her age, she won countless literary prizes. And all of her books were instant bestsellers. Which is why she became known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young talented author? But I figure she must be a lovey dovey type. What's with all of, with what with all of her masterpieces being a romance and all? <laughs> what? What's your problem? But what? It's it's not polite to stare, you know. But but buck. What the heck? Oh, I thought she was a cinder. Eh? My bad. Just stop staring at me. It's not like I'm some filthy creature. Filthy creature? No, no. I just thought. <laughs> I, I I know what you you what you just thought. You just thought you you've never seen a ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. Ah oh, yes, the stream is sponsored by Ray Shadow Legends. Who told you? I didn't even say that yet. Play Ray Shadow Legends. It's, it's a fun game. Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Chad. No, that's not what I was thinking of at all. I'm telling you. Don't bother trying to lie to me. I know it's true. Otherwise, you can't stand looking at me. Anyway. Well, whatever. I don't really care. I'm used to it. Okay. But, wow. Talking. Talk about an inferiority complex, that is way off what I thought the successful author would be like. Alright, that's one. Who else? Who else should I talk to? Shadow Legends. <sighs> mm -hmm. 
man, I need to turn the music down. All right, bad, bad boy I right here. I am Hifumi Yamada. What if you want to call me by my nickname? The Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. Hmm. All right, I'll just call you Hif for short. For short. The ultimate fancy creator. I just meant to look at Oh, yeah, I'm not, never mind. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? I know a lot, actually. World of 2D? <laughs> well, in that regard, I'm well known as the, as the supreme well regard as the ultimate fancy creator. Mm-hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of my fan comic at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. Hmm. Some of them didn't even get it. Of course, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? Don't. I swear to God, don't. Please, do not, Chad. That's too bad. That's too bad about them. But, selling 10,000 copies? Like, that is definitely pretty remarkable. However... The world is such it is. I mean, nothing to me. I am like... Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier, serving night and day to destroy all minus, mindless preconceptions about fanfic. About, about lollicons and shit like that. You get it, right? Uh, sure, sure, dude. Uh, yeah. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Naegi, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with the deepest meaning. What? What kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing our basic urges. I'm about to urge. I don't think I want to comprehend it. Huh. Ew. Uh, this guy looks cool. Yo! The name's Leon Kuwada. What's up? Oh, what's up, man? Leon Kuwada. I... I recognize that name. He played for the National School of Champs as their queen of hitter. The ultimate baseball star. And that superb athlete specimen is... You? Seriously? Huh? huh? What? What's wrong? Nothing, I'm just surprised. I figured with you being an ultimate baseball star and all. Give me a break. What, you were expecting me to be some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I was just expecting more of, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player type, you know? I mean, when I found you in that article, a picture of you online. That's how you look then. <laughs> what? Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. Uh, what the crap? This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, I'm like, I'm mega embarrassed right now, bro. Sorry, dude. Broski. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shave your head is like that 
is part of national championship regulation. Wait, seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair. And I'm not gonna dye it back either. And I'm gonna buy, dye it back normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? No, and. You know. I, I just said no. I don't like baseball. Like. At all. I've never gone to a, a single practice. He never practiced, and he was still his team star player? He's some kind of prodigy. Yeah! And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future? <laughs> my only path in life is to get into music. You can, you can feel that star quality or I have, right? Mm, yeah, let's go with that. You know what I mean. I'm going to be a singer. So all I'm going to need is a strong... So all I'm going to need is a songwriter and someone on the guitar. And then we are all set. How cool I know is I added, that? I added my words to that, but you know. Shit, no. Shit, I messed up. Oh well. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball star. You look good. I, I, I really don't like you at all right now. Hi, I'm Sayaka Mizono. I look forward to getting to know you. Sayaka Mizono. Hmm. Ultimate pop sensation. The way she moves is positive. <laughs> Positively memorizing in that pleasant scent. Oh, I can't quite face it. Saika Mazona. When I saw her in that on thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's a pop group fame. She's in a pop group famous all over the country, and in fact, she's their lead singer. That's the ultimate pop sensation. She's in high demand to appear on TV and magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she was going to be going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember me, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you, sl how you slice it, she's very beautiful. Really? Like a doll or something. <laughs> I'm I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. I'm a real girl. Huh? Did you hear me? Uh... I'm psychic. Huh? <laughs> Just kidding. I have really good intuition. She's a sorry boy. Hey, um. Huh? Hey. By any chance? Now what? Huh? Yeah, it, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto. Fine. Jeez, you guys. How long were you planning to waste our valuable time in this ridiculous, in this ridiculous bathroom of force? Uh, um. Yeah, it's it's goodish. I I can say the gameplay is goodish. You don't have to get on my case, guys. Guys, it's good. It's goodish. It's good goodish. I, I swear. S sorry, I I got carried away. I guess. You hear me? Self introducing our star posts are for introducing yourself, not bumbling along to idle chit chat. Shut up, nerd. Uh, you're, you're right. 
This is Sorry. why I can't get no bitches. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. Sounds like Saika really has something she wants to say. It's not like she wanted... It's not like we will never see her again. Like she said, we can talk later. That sounds for sad. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Uh, uh, I, I like my face. Ishutaka Ishimaru. Kiyotaka Ishimaru. Alright. The ultimate nerve. I mean, the ultimate moral compass. So, Kiyotaka, according to what I saw about him on the thread, he went to a famous private school and won all of the top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. A nerd. He also known for the work he has done with his community public moral committee. They say he's res he respects rules among above everything out of there. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of the ultimate moral compass. The ultimate nerd. Anyways, anyways, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Naegi, right? <laughs> That's a good name. A strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. You hear me? And you should keep that name from losing value. You must devote yourself every day. Got it! Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it. Right? Right, Raggy? This guy is kind of annoying. Okay, now, okay, now to talk to those five people over there. Okay, I'm gonna talk to this one now. I, she goes, she goes here. And hold on, man. I need to turn my, my headset real quick. Give me a second. And charging my headset. Let me take a sip of this water real quick. <sighs> Bro, this beat is nice. <sighs> Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Chihiro Fujisaki. A hero. All right, got it. The ultimate programmer. Mm. Well, sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> Anyways, I hope we can get get along. Same here. Nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Good point. Sorry. You, you 
don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah? Chihiro is n Fusashaki is known as known for all of the cutting heads programs she created. She's the ultimate programmer. She also got that timid little bunny type thing going, which has endeared her to a legion of fans. Hmm. Who knew? Um. So. Hey, so listen. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm. I, I'm really sorry. Huh? What are you apologizing for? Um... Well, it's just because you seem obsessed. You must be mad at me, right? No, 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 not at all. I just... lost the thought about something. Huh? Huh? Lost the thought? Yeah, it's nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh! That's good. I was afraid you didn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. Uh, uh, I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. Good grief. A nice... Heya! I'm Aoi Asahina. But my friends just call me Hina. What's up? What's good, Owie? I'm gonna call you Asa Hina. Ultimate Swimming Pro. You know what? I'm gonna stop the stream after I met everyone. Owie Asa Hina. She's been breaking the records, records in every competition she's been in ever since elementary school. She's been without chosen as the upcoming swimming Olympic candidate. She's without a doubt the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her abilities, appearance, and um <coughs> proportions has been widely discussed online. <laughs> so, um What's your name again? Sorry, I totally forgot. Makoto Naegi. The ultimate raffle boy. <laughs> oh, yeah? I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. It is that. It is that. You got it. Sure, sure. I got it. I'll hammer it down into my brain right now. Yeah. Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi. She just kept repeating her, repeating my name and moving her finger to wrong, on her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it down in your hand three times. What? I never heard of that before in my life. Mm. Okay, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly how it sounds. Mm. Uh... <laughs> well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyways, glad to meet ya. Sh sure. Same here. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easy going. And bursting with energy. And bur- No, I do. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet ya. Mondo Awada. Nice. Got it. Ultimate Biker Gang Leader. Mondo of water, huh? Which means he's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He is suspected from all, uh, from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Um, 
Nice to meet you too. Yo. Hell yeah. I better be careful around them. One wrong word and I could wake up in the bottom of the sea. Um, can I ask you your name? My name is Kyoko Kyogiri. Kyoko Kyogiri. Ultimate question mark, question mark, question mark. The ultimate mom? She's pretty tight lipped, huh? Oh, but you know. Her name didn't show up anywhere on the host beat thread. And I did see that there were students like me. Ones who didn't have any real identities or presence. Could this girl be one of them? So, um, what are you doing at the school? What? What is that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate some, something, right? So, what ultimate something are you? Uh, that doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you... No, I don't... I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Something about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked up by chance like me, but... Her face is like an iron max. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, there's no point in asking. Hi! I'm Junko Enoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. Junko Enoshima. The ultimate fashionista. Anybody would recognize this one. She got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her in tons of magazines and covers, but... I feel like this doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Huh? Come on. Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> well, of course, those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? I yeah. Yeah. You know, edit it to hell and back with my computers and junk. Oh. So there aren't real? What can we do? Uh, come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally. It's totally normal these days to photoshop the crap out of cover pictures. Cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by certain dangerous little divas of ours. <laughs> they make all of the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all sur surreal and personal. Oh. So many dreams were crushed today. Okay, last four. Does. I. Uh. 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 Alright. I am Sakura Ogami. Sakura Ogami. The ultimate martial artist. Oh jeez, I almost asked if she was a guy.
day, the day I say something like that out loud is the day I can turn into a human meatball. Meatball. Now I remember. She competed in the martial arts tournament in America and won despite being a girl. <laughs> Women. Just kidding, just kidding. Guys, don't count for me. She's the ultimate martial artist. She fought in over 400 matches and never lost one. That thread also said a bit more about her. Some call her ogre. Some even think that the closest she's the closest known relevant to the primates, the famous missing link. <laughs> Any incoming Hope Speak Academy suits who are reading this, let me warn you right now. <laughs> if you value your lives, avoid her at all costs. Standing in front of her, I don't think they were exaggerating about the Hey. Hey, you. Huh? Y yes I snapped to attention without even realizing it. Then she started poking and prodding at my body. Uh, um, what are you doing? I see. Muscle quality and quantity are around that of an ordinary high school student. Hmm. What a shame. You're not fit to act as my training partner. I, I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. Name's Byakuya Togami. Byakuya Togami. The ultimate affluent price. Um, hi, nice to meet you. That's the most half-assed introduction I ever heard. But there isn't anything I can do about it. Even among the ultimates, this one is special. Yaka Tiagami is the heir to is the apparent heir to his family. Max of finances and come on. I'm not even trying to spell it or say it. He's already managed businesses and operations and his own personal assets are well vast. His title, the ultimate Alpha Prodigy is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from Hope Speak Academy and Thread Online. Come on. We're done with we're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you gonna stand there? Go away. I'm sick of looking. His aura says to me like, you never stand on my level. This on the same level, like a king in training. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure, Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. What's good, Hero? The ultimate clairvoyant. Yasuhiro, known as Supernova in the psychic community. The trend-setting ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't get that fortune telling stuff that much. It's beyond me. Still, I can't help wondering if all, of, if any truth to it. Could it be? Ah, okay, I get it, man. I give up. Huh? What happened? You're serious? I saw it. I was looking at, looking at it. Seriously, I saw it. Hmm. A guardian angel with a crazy perm chaser after Bigfoot off with the sunfish in his mouth. And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, Rob. But hey, we should grab some rock skewers sometime and just real dig deep into lab. I mean, it's. it's uh -uh. Oh, uh, uh. Thank you for the follow, guys. Ah, uh, 
Um, I do not know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry, guys. What? We're not... You know we're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. You know? I'm actually 21. I'm 21. I've been held back a few times. See... And, well, it's a long story. A few times? Yeah, I bet it's a long story. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Celestia Ludenberg. Hmm. So, what's your best name? The Ultimate Gambler. Celestia Ludenberg, huh? <laughs> Ludenberg is my name, but if you don't mind, I would prefer you to call me Celeste. Um, are you just Japanese, right? Huh? Of course, why'd you ask? Um, if you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> I, I don't know what you're talking about. My name is Celestia Ludenberg. But Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would rather you call me Celeste. Uh, okay. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants me to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were true about her. The self styled Celestia Ludenberg is the ultimate gamer. Gambler who never leaves the bed. Other than her obvious love for gothic Lolita clothing, clothes, everything about her is wrapped in the belt of lies. Maybe her name is a lie. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Lies. <laughs> Totally clean out the other players talking, taking their life savings and laughed as she did it. Evil. Very evil. But I like it. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> I'm scared. That smile is beyond deceptive, but I better watch out. My watch myself around her. And with all with that, all the introductions are done. <laughs> Even though they're all ultimate, each of them have some of their own individual sort of something. Hmm. Okay, down to business. This is no time to stand around and make friends. Like a bunch of doll headed baboons. Oh, that's true. Hold on, water break. I never read this much in my life. <sighs> I think someone has said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, listen. Well, you see... Uh, um... Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Or the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Just after... Just... After each of us got into the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? But, but, that's just weird. That's every one of us would be knocked out like that. Piece of shit! Exactly, that's why we're all freaking out. <sighs> and that's not the only thing. There's 
saw the R were on the windows in the classroom. The holes were right. Uh, I can speak. My English are my English speak. But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff is missing. Even my cell phone. Wait, where is my cell phone? Damn it. Um. Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere, either. <clears throat> and then there's the main hall. The front exit is completely blocked off by some metal hatch. What does this mean? So we're completely ignoring the two giant guns? But there wasn't anything like that when we first got here. What the heck? What the heck? What's it doing here? Hmm. Maybe we got caught up in some kind of, like, you know, crime or something? Is it? Like... What's... What? Like, a kidnapping? I mean, you think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off? And we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. Come on, guys. The game said we we're at Hope Speak Academy, so I, I, I'm inclined to believe it. Whoa, whoa, what's, what's the, hey, what's the game? Um, um, you, you know we're in a game, right? Uh, what? A, a game, guys? Come on. I, I might be the ultimate average in the bitch list, but I, I, I know if we're in a game. Guys, guys, you gotta believe me. Guys? Makoto's going crazy. Come on, I don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet it's just part of the school's orientation process. Right? You know? Yeah, I'm sure of it. So I'm gonna take it easy for a bit. I see. Oh, so they want to do something to surprise us. What the hell? Huh? Well, that's just... Yeah. It's not time for me. You know what I mean. I was way, way too late, so I couldn't... You, I could use the little shut-eye. I can feel everybody's sense of that way. But then... It began. Testing, testing, mic check, one, two, this is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. The voice seemed totally out of place, like, it was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel my unnerving dread at... I had a nerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at me at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... right now! Borrow? Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. Oh shit, I forgot to read. Well, then if you excuse me. Hey! Hey, wh wh where are you going? You can't just take off like that. Could it be? Oh yeah. Now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us pumped for the entrance exam. <laughs> Man, thank God it was all a joke. I'd totally be freaking out if it wasn't mine. You know? Alright, I guess I'll be going out, out too. I wonder if they, what they got planned for us. Next. Huh. Uh. 
damn. I thought I totally was getting Damn, I was totally looking forward to that map too. Why they go and kill the moon? Huh? Well wait for me! I, I wanna go too with you! <laughs> well that is then that is that then. Well, I'll guess I'll see you all there. Anyway. N not that anyone cares, but I I I'm going to. Everyone took off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I had before, I couldn't get that out of my mind. And it looks like I wasn't the only one. Uh, um. This, this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally real. However. Weird. But, maybe, but just saying, saying put means we'll be safe. Doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys a bit concerned to find out what's going on here? I see. If we don't move forward, we learn nothing. The choice is to push ahead. Uh, I guess she's right. But I'm... But still, I'm kind of, no. Really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said we have to go to the gym, right? And we'll go to the gym next time. Thank you guys for watching the stream. Um, I'll leave the stream down of on my channel so you can watch it later if you haven't watched the whole thing. And I guess see you guys uh I guess tomorrow ish or maybe later today because I I will be streaming Sunday. So yeah. Bye.